Hi, collaborate, elaborate. Um, I don't know if this video is going to be any good because I'm tired. I just got back from work. Um, so, we're doing a lot of books this week. I was hoping to finish a book that Shelby left me um, this week, but I haven't had time. I'm like pretty much in the last quarter or last third of the book. And the book's called, it's kind of a funny story. Um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, it's a really cool book. Um, I really like all the different characters. It's really helped me learn a lot about myself and learn a lot about um, mental, not necessarily mental health, but just uh, help me understand things about my own condition, I suppose. I have quite bad anxiety and it was really cool to know, I guess. I know it's like not a real story, but I know it's based on like the author's stay in a, he was in a mental hospital, I don't know if he was admitted or, but yeah, it's based on, based on real things, I guess. Just to know that I'm not the only person with anxiety and things like that really, um, is really cool. Another author that I really enjoy, um, is Stephen King. Uh, I've only read a few of his books. I've read Pet Cemetery, The Shining, and another one, which, um, something about I mean, After Midnight or something. I can't remember what the title's called exactly. But, um, I like his style, I suppose. Uh, I really like The Shining. It's pretty, like, this is The Shining. That's a pretty thick book. I would recommend if... It is kind of scary. Um, so if you're not really into that kind of thing, then probably I wouldn't read it. But the book is amazing. I then saw the film after I finished reading it, and um, the film is awful. <laughs> Oh, I, for some reason, I thought that this book would, that this film, for some reason I thought this film would be different, but it wasn't, like, I know there's some really good uh, film-to-book adaptations, like, most of the Harry Potter films, um, like, The Lord of the Rings is, is fairly well done, um, well, it is very well done in terms of how much effort they put into it, um, but yeah, I mean, they just kind of took the, the beginning of the Shining story, and then after that just kind of changed everything. <laughs> um, like, there are moments that happen in the film that don't happen in the book. Spoiler warning if you want to read the book. So, for example, in the film, at the very end, the black guy gets stabbed through the through the back. That doesn't happen in the book. The black guy actually saves them. It's, it's really um, just not done very well. The bit where he sees the naked woman in the bath is scary, but apart from that, yeah, it's... Um, the book is awesome. I would seriously recommend reading the book. It's so interesting. Um, really explores like the psyche of a crazy man. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, hope I'm not rambling too much. Anyway, um, Dominique will see you tomorrow because you forgot to upload. I will see you guys next week. Bye bye.